Hey guys, it's Becca. Welcome to another episode of Duping New Releases. This palette isn't particularly new, but I did get a request for it and it's not a super old palette either, so I was excited to go ahead and play with my singles and see what I could come up with trying to recreate my own version of the Sydney Grace Tiny Marbles palette. If you're interested in seeing what I came up with, then just keep on watching. Before I share what I have come up with using my eyeshadow singles collection, a little bit of a disclaimer here. I have never tried Sydney Grace's eyeshadows and I no way claim that the formula is going to be similar with the shadows that I have chosen. There are also a couple of shadows that I had to change the finish because I don't have um, a lot of pastel eyeshadow singles in my collection. So mostly I have just come up with a very similar color story, changed a couple of finishes. I did notice that a lot of the, some of the browns in the original palette swatched at least on pictures that I was able to find swatched a little bit too similarly to me to take up multiple spaces within the palette. So I did change the depth of those ones a little bit just to make a more versatile palette. And my eyeshadow single collection is also woefully deficient in duochrome and multi-chrome types of shades of which there are one or two in the palette. And so I just did the best that I could. I made a very beautiful spring palette that is reminiscent of the Sydney Grace Tiny Marbles and I had a lot of fun playing with it and using it. So here we go. This is what it looks like. Oh my goodness, you guys, tragedy behind the scenes. I just dropped the palette, so you'll be able to notice a couple of changes here. This one fell out completely. I had to vacuum it off the floor, and then a bit of this one fell out as well. I'm sad. I never even got to use this one. This one was really pretty. I repressed it from a different uh, palette. Um, I guess easy come, easy go. I'm gonna really quick see if I can't find another blue shade to fill this spot. All right, so here we are. That's the best I could do. I know it is nowhere near what it was before, that's okay, we'll just keep on keeping on. So anyway, here is the palette itself. So as you can see, I had to make a few changes um, even before I had to replace the blue shade, but the purple and the green might be some of the most noticeable ones because in the original they are mattes and I do not have any matte pastel shades like that in my collection, but I do have these two shimmers that are very similar in tone just they have a different finish to them and they're very beautiful. I actually really enjoyed playing with these ones. This here is the closest that I could get to Fire Butts, and it's um, kind of a duochrome a little bit. It's just got a very beautiful little shift to it, but I'm sure it's not quite the same. Also, these two browns here, this medium one and this dark one, were much more similar, at least from what I could tell in swatches in the original palette. And then of course now we had to replace this one here. So I actually really enjoy this color story even though I had to make a couple of changes to it. It's almost like a pastel spring rainbow because we have pink, we have coral, we have yellow, green, blue, purple. Then we have some browns and mattes to kind of like ground the rest of the palette. I did make three looks with it. I did of course a purpley pinky look because that is one of my favorite kinds of colors. And of course I did a brown look with this green on the lid and I just really enjoyed that one as well. And then the third one was using the purple and the green and it was inspired by the wisterias that have been blooming in my neighborhood. As usual, we have an eclectic mixture of shades. We have some color pop, we have some profusion, this one is from a C color palette that I depotted, Makeup Revolution. We have some Makeup Geek shadows, some Coastal scents. So I will have all of those listed down below just in case you are curious. But I'm just gonna go ahead and show you the looks that I came up with using these colors. So 
all in all, I had fun with this palette and I did really enjoy the mix of colors, dark and medium and light. The only thing that I would probably change as far as my own preferences is this is a dark shimmer that I probably wouldn't use. Even the original one was probably too dark and I wouldn't use it. And then of course having a black eyeshadow in the palette. I know a lot of people think of a black as like a staple in an eyeshadow palette, but for me, I just never use them. So those might be the only things I might switch out. And I'm not even sure what I would could replace them with at this point. Maybe I would have just replaced them with an actual shimmer of these two shades and then kept the matte versions of them so that we have a little bit more variety with the purples and the greens. So anyway, that's about all I have with this palette right now. There is a lot more variety within this that I did not even start to touch. Like I wanted to do a look with the blue and the green, like the green um, duochrome all over my lid and then this kind of like faded out into the outer corner. I also was interested in trying to do something with the coral and this kind of um, champagne shimmer. I was also interested in this gold here with the neutrals. So there's a lot that you can do with this palette. This has been a fun palette to play with and there's a lot more possibilities to explore within this color story. As always, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you are staying healthy and safe and in good spirits. And if you have not already, I would love it if you would consider subscribing. I would love to hear other palettes that you would like to see me create some looks with, even if I have to make them out of my own eyeshadow singles collection myself. I am always interested in playing with my eyeshadow singles. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope I see you guys in the next one. Bye!